I'm Melody Cant and I'm a real estate agent from Kitchener Waterloo that's about an hour outside of Toronto. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about furnace filters and why you should be constantly checking them in your house. So one of the biggest issues I have and get calls for all the time is that furnaces have broken down and they've stopped working something along those lines. So I'm going to save you a little bit of cash right now. First thing you should do if you ever have issues with your furnace, go down and check your filter. Some of these high efficiency furnaces that you can put in your house now, they will actually stop working if the airflow is restricted. So you're going to want to make sure that your filter is clean. So you give it a good season in the spring and all everybody's bringing the dust in and out of your house, you'd be surprised how quickly that gets bogged up. And go down there, um, if anybody hasn't showed you where to find the filter in your furnace, you can always ask, but usually uh, it's pretty obvious, it's about in the middle, very bottom of your, of your furnace. So some people will tell you, you can change them every month, especially if you have kids and pets, I highly suggest that. If anybody has any kind of allergies, uh, there's different kind of filters you can get. You can get a cheap $12 filter for your furnace, or you can go all the way up to, I've seen $50 or more for a filter for your furnace. You can even get ones that you clean, so they're actually reusable. You can go and hose them off and continue to use them. But either way, continue to check your filters for your furnace. It's not only going to help your furnace run, it's going to make it last a little bit longer. The easier the air can basically go through the filter in your house, the less your motor has to kind of um, work to push the air through your house. Obviously this is for forced air <laughs> furnaces, so if you have any other kind of like uh, radiant heating or anything like that, uh, totally disregard what I'm saying right now. This is strictly for forced air heating. Definitely continue to check it. I say at least one to three months. If you're only doing it once a year and you wonder why you're constantly having uh, sinus headaches or um, uh, any kind of allergies, that might be the culprit. And uh, keep in mind, you can always get all your ducts cleaned. I'm sure you guys get the phone call like at least once a week. Uh, keep in mind, they're not completely crazy. That actually should be done once in a while to uh, not only help out your furnace, but also it's the area breathing, guys. So take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of anybody that comes and visits. Not only a lot of the time your house actually will smell better if you have a good filter and or get your ducts cleaned uh, once in a while. So uh, that's a little bit on furnace filters. I hope uh, that just kind of gives you guys a little bit of reminder of a little bit about house maintenance. So once again, I'm Melody Cant, and remember to follow your heart in real estate. Take care.